Hey guys, welcome to Precision Machine Shed. Today what I'm going to talk about is just go over a few general things that I got going on in my shop and a few things I got coming up here pretty soon. Um, I've been working on, well I haven't really been working on much of anything lately here, but So I haven't been doing much in my shop, I guess, other than I picked up, uh, actually found this uh, from a guy that I'm going to pick up a few other things here in the future. But I found this stock. It's an old Fasian Reinhardt uh, wood walnut stock. They don't make these anymore. Uh, I think Fasian Reinhardt went out of business and or they got bought out in the uh, early 2000s, late 90s. <clears throat> but uh, these are cool stocks. And they're kind of of the style of what my uh, one of the guys I learned how to do this stuff from what he used to build. So I actually happen to have a and it's for a 1917 Enfield. And I actually happen to have a, a barreled receiver up here that I had left over from uh, I actually bought this thing and and got rid of the stock and and I had been I've been working on the back end of this thing. You can't really see it, but. Uh, I've been recontouring this and making it look nice the way I like them. And I got this stock and it actually fit, uh, it's got a very th uh, wide barrel channel in it. And this heavy barrel I have actually fit damn near perfect in there. It's a little more of a gap than I would like, but um, you could uh, pull it off and say it was kind of <laughs> kind of made that way, maybe. Uh, but now there's probably a little more, a little over an eighth of an inch, maybe pushing um, three sixteenths of a gap all the way along the bed there. Um, and I mean, I gotta, I'll have to put a butt stock on there and a few other things, and I'll maybe do a grip and a cap. But um, that'll be a nice little little rifle, three eight Winchester. And I don't have much of. Uh, I bought this rifle and I sold the stock and I. Pretty much have zero. Pretty much I have nothing into this right now, so it's a basically a free rifle. Other than a crap load of my time to make that receiver look good and fit it back into that stock. <clears throat> the other thing I got going on is I still got my South Bend Heavy Tan. I got that for sale still. If anybody is interested, I dropped the price way down to three thousand bucks. Um, shoot me an offer, and uh, that's still available. And then the other thing I'm also going to do is the Precision Mauser build, the one that we did here. I did several episodes on this. I'm gonna, this guy's for sale too. Uh, I don't really wanna sell it, but I gotta kinda, I don't really need it. And I bought it and I kinda did what I wanted to do with it. I made it shoot. Uh, it's a nice little rifle, but um, on to other things, I guess. So I'm asking uh, 415 for that guy shipped to your local FFL dealer and uh, if you guys would be interested if somebody's interested in that let me know I'll shoot shoot me an email and then the other thing we're gonna do uh, for the end of the year here I have found a guy that has a complete bluing setup he's got buffers all the polishes the wheels everything that goes along with a nice buffer um, and then he's got blue, a bluing tank set up with the burners and all the chemicals and uh, there's a few other things he had available for me to purchase so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it out to you guys and see if you want to help me fund this project and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a video if I can I'm gonna try and raise 750 bucks on a uh, GoFundMe page and I'll put the link below if you want to help me out and what I'm gonna do is if I can get the funds to get all this equipment I'm gonna make a video series try to do a fairly detailed video series on hot caustic bluing and how to do it and how to go about it and some of the steps and processes involved in it and uh, some tips and tricks to to try and you know let you know first of all exactly what's involved Second of all, some things to avoid, some things you maybe want to watch out for, and uh, and how the process actually works. <clears throat> I've done it in the past before with pretty good results, and I mean I had excellent results when I did 
the last time I did it. And I've got a few different projects here. I got a barrel and I got several receivers I can do. And then also anybody that helps me out, I'll offer up either a free or a discounted service if they want to send me some uh, machine parts or a lot of guys like to do vices and clamps and stuff, I can do that. And possibly some uh, non-receiver, uh, anything with a serial number, anything on a rifle I can't do, but uh, maybe some random parts I could help you out with. So, if you'd like to help me out with that, you know, you could donate a buck, 50 cents, whatever, I don't know, 10 bucks. And I know it is the season to be broke, but um, I'd really like to get this going. And I think if I could get it going, I could make several videos on uh, doing a good hot caustic bluing job on a rifle or machine parts or whatever you'd like to do. Um, so, so that's about it. It'll probably be my last video for 2016. I would like to thank everybody for helping me out uh, throughout the year. And um, also my Patreon, if you just want to check that out. I got a Patreon. You can help fund all this great stuff. And I'd like, once again, I'd just like to thank everybody for all the positive comments, positive feedback, and everything that's helped me grow my channel. I would surely do appreciate it. Um, and hopefully 2017 will be great things to come, I guess. So, hope you guys have a happy new year. Be safe. Until next time, be safe on your machines and shoot safe. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.